AirTel users. In this Excel part tip, I'm going to show you how you can automatically conditionally format this column of dates so that if it's up to 30 days old, then it's going to be automatically highlighted in green. If it's over 30 days old, then it's going to be orange. And if it's over 60 days old, it's going to be automatically highlighted in brown. And you can achieve all this using Excel's conditional formatting rules. So we've got a column of dates in column A, invoice date. And there's no conditional formatting applied on these dates. And to get these particular dates, I've used a formula, and that comprises of the now function minus a value between 1 and 75 selected randomly. So by doing it this way, then you're going to guarantee a date that's always going to be in the past and up to 75 days old. And then the second column works out the date age. To work out the date age, you use the date if function. And the first argument is the, the first date. Um, so in this case, in cell B2, it's referring to self-reference A2. And then the second argument is going to be the current date, which is going to be handled by the now function. And the third argument is how do you want the, the date difference to be expressed. In this case, uh, we want to express it in terms of days. So by doing it this way and using the run between function, then if the sheet calculates or recalculates or if you press F9, you're going to get different invoice dates, different random dates up to 75 days old. And the, as you can see, the date age is always going to be up to 75 days old. So I'm using this to simulate how you can conditionally format these dates um, using the three rules I've got here. So when you're conditionally formatting dates in terms of the date age, you have to make sure that the oldest dates are formatted first. So in this case, over 60 days old, that has to be rule one. Over 30 days, that has to be rule two. And up to 30 days old, rule three. So for example, if you've got this date here, um, you've got the 5th of January 2024. The date age is 74. Now, if you did the over 30 days old in terms of the, the rule ordering as the first one, 74 is not only over 60 days old, it's also over 30 days old. We want it to be highlighted as brown. But what Excel will do is it's going to prioritize it in the order of the rules. So what it'll do is instead of highlighting it as brown, for the background, it'll highlight it as orange. So we have to make sure that the rule order is correct. To get the condition formatting done for dates, uh, you just select the dates where you want the condition formatting to happen. Then in the ribbon or the home tab, you click on condition formatting. Then we go for new rule. Then in the new formatting rule dialog box, you go for this option here. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here you type in the formula, type equal. And so what this formula is doing is, is actually taking off the, the cell value, uh, the date in cell A2, the value away from the current date, which is handled by the now function and works out the difference. And if it's more than 60 days, 60, in terms of serial number, then we need to apply formatting. So in this case, the formatting we want is this formatting here, uh, brown background with white font bold. We click on format, then we go and click on fill. We select the brown background, then we click on font. We want font style to be bold and the color to be white. And then click on OK, and then click on OK. So as you can see, all days over 60 days old are highlighted in brown, which is correct. So that's over 60 days old, that's 74 days old, 63 days old, 70, 62. So we know that's working correctly. So the next one we do is this one here. Uh, those are dates over 30 days old. So you go into conditional formatting again, go into new rule. And same process as before, use a formula. And you type equals. And this time we type in 30. And we want the formatting to be, we want it to be bold. And we want it white for the color. And this time we want the fill to be orange. And then click on OK again. So ignore the font coloring at the and the background coloring at this stage. If we just proceed with just doing the, uh, the condition formatting rules for each one, then we can set the order afterwards. So the last one is up to 30 days old. So you go into condition formatting again, click on new rule, use a formula, 
And in this case, What we want to do is we want to make sure it's less than or equal to 30 days because it's up to 30 days old. So we just do less than or equal to 30 days. And the formatting we want for those dates are we want it to be, uh, we want the fill to be green and we want the, the font to be bold and white for the color. Click on OK. Click on OK. So the next thing we do is uh, we've got all the uh, formatting rules in place, but now we need to set the order. So we go back into the condition formatting dialog box, click on manage rules. So what it's doing is it's prioritizing the the first one, the up to 30 days old first, then it's prioritizing the, the amber ones, the over 30 days old, then lastly it's uh, putting the last priority, the over 60 days old, last. So what we do is here, and we click on this button here, which will set the priority order, rule order, we'll put that at the top. Then we want the the amber ones to be next. Put that up there. And just double check and make sure that the the formatting rule is applied to all the target cells. So it's A to A13, yes, A to A13. And click on apply and click on OK. So now you can see the formatting has been applied correctly. So that's over 30 days old, so that's amber. All the ones are in brown are over 60 days old. And the dates are up to 30 days old is um, this one here, green. So we now have all the formatting rules in place and in the correct order.